the buy, they've got smokes, molotovs, any P250 to speak of. Yes, Kadian, of course. He has no armor, however, and we'll see the aggression from the CTs continue. Pretty standard scene so far. A long take, a very traditional approach on the T side. Trying to get towards the pit control. Double smoke on the crossover, molotov the site. See what we can make of it. The odds have swung here. Now's uh, now the favorites from the bookmakers. As long control has been garnered, but not with any force or any noise. It's back towards short where they want to have the next biff. JDC and Torji can chip in together as there's a smoke over towards the hinge. Molly lands as well. We've seen that come into fashion a lot here at EPL as they will charge quickly up behind that Molotov and it looks like they want to push the issue. Coming in for an A split right now. Things are about to get dicey. The flash forward towards long. It's going to try and buy them some room but it's Torji to strike first over towards short. Now smoked off. Exertion chimes in and Heroic, they've been locked out. See you later. Oh, they absolutely have. Two players oh. remain and they can't even find Thank a kill. You. It's still a chance, I suppose, but the bomb's in such an awkward position for them. It'd have to go all the way back through the long doors and they're in a three versus two. Two, half HP for both of them. And we've got Frozen watching towards middle. So it's up to Yabby. He's got the USP at least. Can look for a one tap if possible. That would be fantastic if he can get it. But uh, you're not going to be offering yourself up too much here. Yeah, I, look, Dex, you don't get that many kills, mate. Don't don't give them away on the scoreboard with a team, Nate. That's uh, the worst of both worlds in a way. Is There goes Stown. Just sat on his ass as it is just the new man, the new boy, Yabby. He had a good Time. performance on Mirage, didn't he? Yeah, he did. You know, he's sharp, but Yanko was highlighting some of those... Oh! Fights uh, that maybe he should have won. That's one he maybe shouldn't have, and he's going to look for more. He appears out. Another no beautiful way. shot. Ten seconds. I don't know if he's got time to get the bomb. He knows he has to hunt. He knows he he's going to fight. Yabby pushing forward, taking the jewel. Frozen will silence us as that got very, very close right there. Some fantastic shooting from Yabby. Sharp shooter. Whew. He had no time to plan. He knew he had to take matters into his own hands there. Some spectacular shots on that USP. We said he had to open things up. I didn't think he'd hit this in a million years. Exertion gets his clock cleaned. And uh, Yabby actually has a chance to win it. Only eight seconds. If he gets that kill, he wins. So uh, a sigh of relief on what should have been a clean round there from Mouse Sports. They still win, but uh, we do have the second round. No force buy, but an AK-47 and armor. Just trying to work some space here, see if they can make things awkward and close once again. Ideally, get the bomb down with this sort of investment. Yeah, I, I think here, if you're going to bring out the AK, you need at least two kills and right. the plant, or yep. uh, minimum the plant in this type of a scenario here. So the standard approach of stalling out and waiting out the util, that's what we're seeing unfold in front of our very eyes in the first 30 seconds of the round for Heroic. But after that, it's going to be setting Tessas up for fights against the ill-equipped. And the first of those is going to be poor exertion here. The lone defender of long, has an MP9 behind the doors, and this is a very hard clear for Tessas. I'm sure he'll send one of his little peons forward first, and it's the bomb. So that's going to be a great little spot. I'll take that. And the AK-2, he munches away as Dexter is called to arms. He's going to finish off one and done. Kadian on the AK. We said two kills and a plant. Well, there's two kills. I don't think he'll get the plant. Maybe if he gets all the way into oh. the speed now and he hits a shot like that, a showstopper from Kadian. It's frozen on ice, and uh, unfortunately the bomb is still towards long, but uh, great effort. Just going to try and dissect the map now, We're trying to be in an unpredictable position. They don't seem to be aware they've got the bomb because they are segregated right now. Yeah, JDC's read this. Kadian should be dead. I won't, think, they won't expect that. He tried to get the crosshair back in the right time, but JDC a step ahead and running, running, running. They're not going to find themselves any other upgrades here. It'll be the scout and the AK carried through. And now Heroic should be getting the buy, but you'll be happy with that. Three kills, that's right. great. A lot of damage done. It's just poor Tessus and Yabby who will have some emissions here in the buy department as they were the ones combined who made the purchase of the AK with the head armor. It was a tidy shot there from Kadian. Going to need more of that because I think going toe-to-toe, Torji's the better AWPer out of the two of them. I think Kadian's going to have to step up here I big think time with the on. scope. Fair call. And uh, we're seeing a lot more of this these days. CT's pushing in towards top and middle, but it's a fast, long take. We've all seen this before as well. Locking them in, Dexter. He actually might be out of luck here. It's the Tech-9 oh, towards drop down. spot the barrel I don't, here? I don't think he spotted him at all. Maybe he did. He seems to be in a position to suggest yeah, he's aware, aware of it. Yeah. So that should be a kill for Yabby, I would say. Sure, he gets dinked, but he's managed to upgrade to a rifle. Well, an aggressive tunnels push here. It looks like Frozen has been paired up with JDC. Dexter looks like he's going to be playing the A site with Exertion. And Torji, oh, he's, he's going to do what Torji does best, move around the map. But Kadian will get the better of him in this exchange. Oh, Exertion's been peppered away at as well. So some real issues here. And if JDC goes down to Kadian, this should be the round. But we're still alive. Still a lifeline here. Yep. And it will be the double smoke towards crossover. They still have a Molotov and a separate smoke of their own. Good grenade. Should do some reasonable damage well there. Well 
and it's down to exertion really he needs to find a couple of kills the pressure being applied from frozen drops the incendiary forces them onto the bomb site here like i said two kills from exertion brings him right back into the round maybe There's even gives him an advantage oh. Thought he was going to peek off the back of that. Uh, really, no indication that he wants to go for this fight. And, and Yabby top mid during all of this. He, he can win the rounds here if he just comes in late. That's a nice shot. Still plenty more to find here. As I don't think they're a No, that's the two. Maybe they don't have to. Zertion, this is massive stuff right now. And they're just walking forward. More damage done. Shush is low. And remember, Yabby got dinked. Dexter will know this. The plant, it's safe. The molly's the only thing that can save them right now. Oh, and there's a smoke for the bomb. The round is done. The defuse is going to come through. Yabby oh. just has to save. That's a 3 0 start. That's kind of insane. We said Exertion had to find two kills as the plan went How'd through. He, get those? he bided his time though. He was waiting and patient and he hits a tremendous shot towards the bomb site itself and then towards the ramp. Cool as a cucumber, manages to do damage to the third and goose as well, and his teammates just mop up the kills. That is a gut punch towards heroic. A round that should have been in the bag. That was what? A five on three at one stage and exertion just takes matters into his own hands. JDC, as I mentioned, just tidying things up. The smoke was down. The only option they had was the Molotov, but Nothing could be done. We get into the next round, and it's going to be a long take here as we kick things off. Missed a bit of the action, but it's Dexter to open things up. Exertion chimes in as well. It's a full buy oh. from Heroic, and they're getting mowed down left, right, and center. Two players remain once again, and mouse boards are off to an absolute flyer here, It's Jack. great to see this, this newest addition from the Academy roster getting the frag. Seven and three right now. Tessas, he's going to try his luck. Everyone else has been... Issued a dud hand, an AK picked up, nades to dodge, a kill to come through, but regardless, he's gone down, just poor Kadian now, one on four, the world against him here. It's not getting any easier, the smoke behind him, locks him into the interaction. One player towards the pit, that's Dexter, offs himself up, I dare say he can get two here, but Torshi will keep it clean, three players survive, and mouse boards with a very strong start here. There is maximum loss bonus for Heroic at this stage, but no plants, meaning they might have to just go for what? Tech nine, a couple of glills perhaps. I don't think they can justify fully investing into round number five. You remember last week, Maui and Yanko were highlighting these B explodes from a lot of the teams yeah, that we had in group B. Yep. Maybe something like that for Heroic to, to just try the other side of the map here with, with a bit more of a choreographed play, a bit coordinated as a unit here. Remember, this is a bogey pick. I, I said the last time they played this map was September of last year. That was against the Mobby Star Riders. So we know that uh, Heroica, the fish out of water in this situation. And right now, water is off the mouse, who is apparently the duck's back. <laughs> We're out for a fast <laughs> mid to be here. We are indeed. Torshi will find Kadian. Lots of damage inflicted here from both sides of the equation. The beef bomb site, CT spawn. They can't get a look in towards the round. Starvin will do what he can, but it's going to be a clean 5-0. Three players surviving once again. They're looking so comfortable, Chad. Well, I only scrubbed through these demos, right? I, I didn't have a lot of time between the games to quickly scrub through and, and do a bit of dust to research because I didn't think it would be coming out to play here today. And the biggest question mark for me is, is more around Mao's and where these pieces were going to fit. Because for Heroic, this is clearly something that was targeted, so they must have had some preparation here. For Mauser, it was how are they going to defend? And so far, it, it's looking very similar to what they were doing when they were in the Academy roster, just slotting Dexter and that are frozen into these positions. So, so far, so good. How nuts is that? Is the Academy team that are taking on the main players at this point, yeah. slotting them in? <laughs> No, you just go play short because this is the same kind of thing. The in-game leader for the academy team would play short, right? right? And then they also had, uh, I believe it was Exertion playing a lot of solo long stuff like we've seen in these early rounds. So it's very curious, but here's Torji. He's freed up like a butterfly. Yeah, this is very impressive. A 5-0 start on the CT side of Dust2 and your opponent's pick. They are going to be feeling the pressure here. In smoke from Tessas. Tries to jump back, avoid any potential spam coming from the CTC and a flash through the double doors. While well, they're up, they do have the control that they're looking for. Now the short execute into the AWP of Torji. They need to be diligent with the util. A flash around the corner. Is that going to be enough to force him off the line? He's going to stand and fight here, Torji. Scoped in, very sure of himself here. The support network, the next closest member is Dexter over towards the mid doors. So. He will have to scamper and drop some util. First shot exchange. Exertion continues to pass this test with flying colors. Another kill for him. An opening exchange towards Long Shush in the dirt. And now a mid to B to ensue. Dex is going to be mollied out of place here. He will, absolutely. Oh, he's going to have to fight now, Chad. Might as well. That will do. He will maintain the man advantage, I dare say. They won't hold on to it, though. They need to, to A here. They need to go back to A. Going B is the wrong call. They still know there's two players on the B site. They're rerouting, but this is the issue. Look, he's just tucked into Go to Goose. Exertion, this is the best position. Just deny the plant, you win the round. 
They will be checking it, of course, but uh, he's got the advantage on the first interaction. He takes down the rifle. Caden will have to quick scope him as he jumps around. That's it. First kill. And yeah, it's not going to happen. That's the round. Five seconds remaining. That kill is all in vain. Even if he gets the kill on CT spawn, this is not enough time. Six, zero will be delivered. You're absolutely right. Well spotted, Chad. Exertion. One, two is in towards Goose. As long as he nailed that first kill, it was very likely he gets the second as well. There's no way you can really trade with the AWP at that close range. He's just looking calm and sharp. I think sharp is the key here. 12 kills. He is having a field day right now in the server, leading the chance by a country mile. He's 183 ADR at this point. That's nuts. That is wild. I don't know if he's going to be able to keep it up throughout the continuation and of this map, but he look at the smile on his face. He is loving life right now. And speak about impact as well. These aren't throwaway kills. These are round winning kills. Yes. This is saving the day. Oh, because this hole is massive. What? Oh, OK. There it you works. go. Yeah, the scout. Take it definitely back. works. My skepticism has been proven incorrect, and it will be Torshi, though, to answer back. It's a nice shot towards the long, and he's trying to get out of there. <gasps> Exertion continues oh, to the deliver the pain. Side. That's the AK-47 <laughs> from the back of the A bomb site, all the way at the long pier. Absolutely rails him. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Kadian can have the scout shot, especially if Exertion's going to be hitting those. They have to go away. They have smokes, sure, but there's nothing else. Torji won't be flashed off the line. Should be his every day of the week. Can tuck in. His teammates can take the next exchange. And then coming up the rear, it's going to be Kadian. The opener and maybe the closer here. A chance, considering he's got the smoke down. An opportunity to get towards the A side. But Exertion <laughs> slams the door right in front of his face there. Denied access. And remember, that was a force buy once again with no plan. Uh, I think they have to take a partial here. The scout shot was great to open things up, but... They cannot convert, they cannot capitalize. Let's have a look at that shot again, Chad. I... Oh, what? When did he fire? <laughs> <laughs> did he okay. even shoot? <laughs> okay. Well, it's a nice kill, but that's all it was. So, as mentioned, they, they have to give in at some point. Yield to their adversaries, and they will be coming in with the Desert Eagles and Tech Nines. A gimme round, you would say, considering the setups here. AK-47 is now available on the mouse side. This is the B-pop I mentioned earlier. Sure. But they already have Torji close towards mid to B to help out. So there's essentially three players here. So do they want to go with the B-split variation or just send in five through the tight choke point of the B-tunnels? If you get that opening kill and uh, make things very uncomfortable with the CTs, it can have that snowball into an avalanche effect. Good response from JDC. It's giving them a gray screen upon arrival as well. So they have a smoke for the doors. They have a bunch of, a bunch of flashes. Oh, don't worry about any of that. Uh, the so shark, much intel. shark is in the water. Now in Malta, there's not too many of them around. I, I, I've read the law. Right now, it feels like Exertion is making up for that fact. JDC, he's been mollied out of position here, but still able to spam one down, completely blind. Frozen chiming in here as well. And guess what, the rotation, alive. it's already here. Everybody wants some of this, and JDC will take three. Eight, zero for Maus, the half has been won. Look at the smile. That says it all. They're having a ball, having a blast out there. Beaming smiles all round for Mouse Sports. The bogey pick of Dust 2 is biting Heroic in the ass here. And look at that. was a chance there. The Molotov burning JDC down to a crisp, but he still capitalizes. Manages to find three kills in total. A ton of damage. They survive with four players there. It's absolutely fine. And we get into another buy round, at least for Heroic. They got the AWP out this time. Four AK-47s. And not so much of a default setup, a bit more pep in the step as we have two players towards lower, maybe investigating their chances towards a mid-split as Yabi rotates over towards the B side of the map as well. Exertion, tempting fate here, and he will be warned at least. A shot across the bow from the AWP takes Exertion down to 38. He's ballsy. He's hanging around. This should be his undoing here. Ooh. How does he get away with that? Such fortunate timing there on the smoke and peak from Shush. But he is very confident. Now, I suppose he wants to bait them into the change of setup they have available. Look at Torshi just run. This is an AWPer's dream. When you don't have a secondary AWPer on your side that is right. taking some of your real estate, you're here, there, and everywhere. The more active, the better for a CT AWPer if it could be facilitated. Especially on Dust 2. Keep things unpredictable. Shut down their options. It feels like nothing's working. You can't keep track of them. So far, so good. Mouse Sports yet to give up a round. Torshi has mentioned. He's ahead of this. Ahead of the lurk smoke. He gets the pick. He, Brilliant. He's just reading the play here. World-class orping there. And now they just have to run out short because that is the best option available. Dex is aware of this. He just needs to stay alive. You, you kind of forced into a retake A here. Oh, and that he's just going to peek over the top of the lip. <laughs> it's going from bad to worse for Heroic. It really is. Can he find another through the smoke? They just have to commit. Try and see if they can pull this round back. There's a chance of the AWP. Kadian can't convert it. Finally gets him through the smoke. 
20 seconds remaining. They have to go towards A. Not too much presence there, but Frozen is towards Long. Still has a bit of utility as well. Oh, what's this happen? Exertion comes from Shaw. It's the triple spray down, and Heroic can't catch a break. That is magnificent. 17 and 5. We've only played nine rounds. <laughs> what an absolute feast. He is devouring Heroic right now. I can't believe what we're seeing here. This was perfect, right? Ahead of the Lurk Smoke, great. This was ridiculous. And then the flank, couldn't have been better timed. Using the cusp of that one way, the line up. Oh. Beautiful. He's like, is this is what tier one Counter-Strike was like? Why was I you playing? You get used to this. Opting to save the money for the AWP going forward. So he's staying on the PT-50 just to note that. A strange setup here, but uh, we'll see if they can make good of it. Towards Long, they'll probe once more. Four players outside the doors. A flashman will come through. They've got exertion to deal with. He's there alone, but I say, they say he's a one-man army. As we look for that reactive play from the CTs, knowing they've conceded Long, you need to try and get information elsewhere. Reclaim some real estate on the map, and they've chosen towards Short, Lower B. A boost you don't see too often these days, but uh, trying to get the opening pick if possible. <gasps> Is there a chance? They don't think so. You don't want to stick to it here. So something scared him off. Still lots of utility left over here for Maus to apply their trade. That long control, sure, you've lost that, but I don't think it matters. And the fact that they continue to test exertion, right? I understand it's dust too. They're going to be going long a lot, but this guy is just having his way with her right now, throwing them around the map. He's been flanking. He's been locking them out. He's been hitting some banger shots. This U2 is being lined up. They don't have much more though, chat. They'll smoke the crossover. They've got one flash remaining. That needs to go perfect. And, and that's why the Utah on the other side's a problem. There's no Molotovs either to really make the CTs uncomfortable. Oh, and they missed the smoke. You can see it in the sky over here when they come oh, around the corner. What is that? Yeah, so they have come to on, use the, this extra smoke. Well, it's mad they don't play. This is what come happens. Come on, lads. These little details, they're not just going to happen. Oh, that's an absolute shit show. It's a bit of a mare here. The nade's not bad, though. And Exertion finally is going to be silenced here. Now it's Dexter's turn. He's been... That's better. Oh, having a bit of a time, and he's gone. So, two on four situation. I think this might be Heroic's first round. I think it might be, with the mist thrown smoke as well. They make up for it. Uh... And uh, Frozen will be gifted a freebie, perhaps. I dare say this round might be on. JDC, nice movement to get himself up towards shore, but the smoke should signify the end of the round. And there we have it. Heroic do post their first. It was intentional that they missed the smoke. Because it was all, then rooms, it yeah. was all about trading. Right. right. It lured Mouse into... Playing on think, Nightmare. Yeah, they, they thought they made Mouse... Look, these guys can't even smoke Long Cross. And then they were like, we don't even have to shoot back. And then Heroic strike. So... Don't lose both. Oh, God. They're going to lose it all here. I think Frozen's going to stand and deliver the last <laughs> kill of the round. That's a lot of damage done. <laughs> a lot of damage done, They Chad. got the bomb down so they can all definitely buy. And Kaden can even well, have his all. They'll get $3,500 per player, actually. So... Um, we we, we Galil's these days. I mean, just True. Still, right? I, I think everyone loves a Galil these days. I think yeah. it's been underrated for many years. But uh, there we have it. All five players go down. And for winning a round by explosion, you get 3,500. So um, it will be a little bit compromised, to say the least. But a good job. After missing the smoke, you can see a sigh of relief there. Can't even believe we won that round, lads. So we, <laughs> yeah. we, actually, messed, we actually messed it up and uh, somehow won. So maybe we should miss more smokes. Let's see how many more they can miss here. Little totem boost in the middle to facilitate the pick of Cadian, but nobody comes a knocking. And here we go again. We get the short boost one more time. You do have to worry about this scale down mid. This is the difference maker. Cadian might be able to pip the gap here as Torji. Yeah, caught looking the wrong way. And now the acceleration for the mid to B. Cadian's out. He's trying to stifle the rotations back, but Frozen and JDC still on the site. The bombardment is coming. The onslaught is here. And this is the first time they've truly been tested. Dexter with the AWP. Apparently, not known to be an offer. And now JDC's turn. The German stepping up big. One on two. He had a chance. But now Heroic have strung consecutive rounds together here. Well, there we have it. Two in a row. Starting to alleviate some of that pressure now. It was starting to spiral. But uh, an opening kick from Cadian, a bit of a freebie towards that short boost. Enables them to be split at that stage. And well held by the CTs. JDC did absolutely everything he could there with a couple of frags there towards the car position. But ultimately, the trades were too powerful. Cadian planning those shots. This is the moment. There was a chance. But uh, Tessas with the Glil closes things out. Last of the mouse sports gold, I would say. And it's going to be sure challenging towards Long. He'll actually take down the Danger Man. Exertion is removed. And they continue with their advantageous position. They found themselves in the last couple of rounds. Well, this was a discussion that Kassad was having on the desk about the finances for Maus. They were constantly in a strong position for the buys. Now, they will be put under the pump if they can't course correct here. 
Now, this is one of the oh, earlier situations where they found themselves in a bit of danger, but Dexter and Frozen are going to draw them back, both biffing towards long. That is an awful Dexter, you wouldn't. information. Dexter, play on the fade, or is he going to go for the push? <laughs> Down seeming. Starvin's got him, surely. What aware of this. The fade's starting to come through, and on the grey screen, looking the wrong way. Dexter goes down, but we're still in a three on three here. So, Dexter gets caught out. JDC towards lower, however. It's all down to Star at this point. If he does detect it, the round should be theirs, but he's running up without a care in the world. A clean spray will give Mouse Sports the advantage once again. Can they deny three rounds in a row for Heroic? Bit of a run boost here. It works out Lost towards CT's spawn. He absolutely did. Let's have to pick this together. It's actually looking pretty decent, but Frozen, he's there to make up for the missed shots, and Kadian will have to pull off one of his absolute Fantastic clutches here, and he's been given a couple of shots with the flashbang starting to come through now. Can he nail the oh! second? He absolutely can. He's on for the three versus one here, Chad. JDC in towards CT spawn. I dare say he's going to check it. It all comes down to the time it's here, and he cannot convert the situation in his favor. A great effort, though, Chad. The stars were starting to align for him. We spoke about Katie needing to step up on this map with the AWP. He's got 13 kills to his name. That was the first real set of AWP highlights that he's had right there. Some whippy shots. JDC was so disconnected in that situation, the two players on the site had to take those fights together. So an opportunity for Kadian here does go on missing. Bows get up to double digits. We were worried about the finances. That's the first miss shot. Steps back out. He's able to convert there onto the Roji and Frozen combo. And that from JDC. You can't win to that either. That was a tidy shot for him. So frustrating for the Danes, but back into the money are Mouse. A very important round for both teams. Finances at absolute zero on either side, and there it is, another tag shot there. It's just Dexter going down to 23 at this point. Or she looking to reply. All different setup here. Oh, Dexter. You think you're hanging around mid after you've already been tagged. Dexter, overstaying is welcome. A couple of rounds, yeah. Big, big kill here, JDC. Is he gonna be traded out, trying to scamper away from the tunnels? Look at the HP on the heroic side. Wow, they've been Munch down to almost zero HP on three players. 46 for three players combined here. That's some quick maths. That's not bad. The eight times tables were always my favorite. Ooh, was a glove spotted there. Torji, he definitely knows something's awry as short seems to be the only real option here, but all it would take is one well-placed grenade. Fortunately, there's none of them available. Spoiler. And uh, this one would be done. Torji might get caught off guard. Uh, he will, but he's around the corner. Shusha's out of the pressure now. Zershin, he's been the hero so far, but he's been knocked over in the last few. Flashed, cannot re-peak, allowing this orb to play first. The Gandalf spot is there, and he takes a shot through the box. It should connect. And here he is, Zershin playing around the smoke. 10 bullets, he will convert the first. The reload coming in, there's pressure from Long now as well. The new yeah. addition, what's he got? Is he gonna consider this? The Long, he's just gonna get peaked on here. Well, there we have it, Chad. That should be the round. It's just JDC who's towards long. Doesn't have many points of access here. And uh, the A pincer actually working out. It's looking like Mouse Sports had that round in the palm of their hand, but JDC still fancies it. He knows they're very low. Lots of damage has been inflicted, but his days are numbered here, and it is going to be heroic bouncing back. We said that's a very important round. I dare say this could be... 10-5. 10 10-5, 10 because yeah. they have to force into this one, right? Should be two consecutive force buys here from Mouse. I don't think when work with... He's just hit. Oh! <laughs> okay. I haven't seen that. Yeah, imagine there's a double collapse through the door on the cross. All right then, exertion, JDC low before the round even gets going. And uh, long control granted towards Heroic as well. This is looking very good for them. Should be their round. Interesting setup with the push CT watching lower. I would say their only chance of doing something with this round would come from that position. Either way, dexed up. Tucks himself in behind the car, off in a position that's Molotov. Flashbang's being exchanged as well. Torshi wants to get all the aggro for deck, or for Frozen, I should say, and does he uh, ever? That's a great shot. Shush. There's someone in the car with you, someone in the back seat. You've had a long night, you've come home, you didn't lock the doors, and Dexter was sitting there just watching. A little bit creepy. He's gone, now Frozen on this flank. It's not going to be a difference maker because the bomb is headed towards B, but if they can get these kills on A, they can find themselves some rifles. Should have the kill on Shush. Oh, sure, he's looking the wrong way. Shush is ready for it. Frozen, not too ready for that. And now it kind of feels like they're chasing their tail a little bit. And in the back, these kills keep coming here. So the bomb to be planted, the site given up, and they're still going to try their luck here. But every time they seem to take a position of advantage, Mouse, there's always somebody accounting for this. So Shush over towards T spawn. Oh, JDC dead to rights. It is. It's just going to be the one man of Torji standing. And he got that uh, Deagle kill towards lower. That was nice, but that was about it.
That's about it. You're dead on there. Looking to recover the FAMAS, perhaps. He's got armor. And uh, there's going to be not much to bring to the table whatsoever in the following round. So looking to say the FAMAS is about as appealing as this one gets. So it is a recovery, right? Considering how this Definitely. one started. It was, what, the 9-0 the spread, I think it was, yeah. before we started to see any resistance from Heroic. A couple consecutive rounds, the money was broken. They did a good job of whittling that cash down. So even though it was a, a really strong showing early from Exertion, he's uh, currently sitting at 18 kills. We were talking four Simmer or five down, rounds ago about 17, right? So definitely quieted off here. Well, there we have it. Heroic definitely bringing this game back to life. They can get 10-5, which is looking very likely. As you mentioned, the money was broken on the CT side for this final round. They should be okay. All they'll need is a pistol victory in the second half, and they are right back in it. So well done to them. Even after some... Uh, Interesting rounds with Miss Smokes. They even managed to convert those. Well, this would be a very sour round to lose. If, if they drop the ball here, knowing that they have mounts right where they want them in terms of the finances, that would be such a problem here as they deploy defensive Molotov towards the mid doors, avoiding any of these lower dart pushes. Yabby making sure that isn't the case here. He's still well and truly prepared for this as they're posturing now, making quite a heavy presence towards mid with Kadian alone, but looking likely to be this B finish. JDC again in tandem with Frozen, who has the Famous back. They have the smoke, two of them, to stall this out. They might have the weapons for the job, Henry. A 5-7 and a Famous to deal with a B-pop, it might be perfect. It all comes down to this moment. JDC gets the information that they're towards B, and they've still got plenty of time here. 1 minute 20 on the clock. They don't necessarily have to commit, but the fact they're not repositioning now suggests they've lost map control elsewhere. They can't really guarantee the top of middle's clear, for example. So, Canyon's so cavalier about yeah. a lot of this. Jumping around corners, nades in hand, careful, missing smokes. He's trying to do a lot right now. He's organizing the troops. But it has to be B here. Has to be. They have no information elsewhere. And fortunately, only two CTs there, but another decent smoke will take vision away. The Molotov doesn't do much for them, and now the rotation's starting to come through. Deep breath, boys. They're starting to come in. He said the 5 7 is the perfect weapon for the job. The Snapping Turtle finds a couple of kills to open things up. There's still flashbangs available. JDC will vault up into the close box, and it's now a five versus three. Is Kadian gone? Back towards spawn here. I, I don't know if there's time for this. If he's going to try and at least draw something on the other side of the map, sure. We've got 27 seconds. It has to be the pivot now to shore or nothing. And they're not ahead of this right now. Dexter, if he can stall them out as they try and cross this massive void of the mid doors, they'll need to get the bomb. The bomb's loose. 18 seconds here. Heroic just don't have time for this. Yabby's going to get a big kill, but where does he go? Which side do they hit? They need the kills. This round is already done. Just hide, Mouse. Exertion. He's waiting towards the A ramp, and is it going to be enough? They don't kill. They There's don't no time. There's just no time. Anything. It's right. done. The yeah. clock, Heroic's biggest enemy here. A bogey map, a bogey pick. Well, a bogey showing right now, 11 to 4. Oh, uh, dearie me. Well, the pistol round, uh, in case you're not a Counter-Strike fan, almost feels like a necessity for Heroic if they want to have any shot here in the pick of Dust 2. The forward yeah. stance in mid is something, but this shot is everything right now as Kadian jousting in lower tunnels will be sent looking elsewhere towards the top of mid. He crawls, and either way, it's not going to be an easy fight. That flash is beautiful. A white screen goes to black as JDC will turn out the lights. Yeah, they've done well to even get one kill on the CT side, make it a double. Stan coming to life there, but back and forth we go. The P250 can't quite connect on the second, and they found themselves an advantage here in the must-win pistol. Shush. We'll get that advantage, and Stan, not happy with that. Looking to answer back once again. He's very low, though, and he's actually just maybe giving that one away a little bit, Chad. Yeah, trying to be proactive, and the fight's going to keep coming. Heroic and Classic Star just want a duel, and they should have done enough here. Torji will be deleted by Tessus, and they will grab the pistol, but as we saw over on Mirage, they won the pistol on the CT side. However, they conceded... Actually, no, it was the T side. They conceded uh, the second round for Spy. So they don't want that to happen again here in the second half. That would be a horrible fate. Could happen. That's if they do force buy up into the second. I guess with this sort of scoreline, it does beg the question whether it's a requirement. You could just save the cash and get the full buy going forward against the SMGs and scouts. So now, Also, I think on the T side, if you don't get the plant on the pistol, it almost feels like, yeah, we may as well take right. the leaker, right? Yeah. To, to line up with exactly what you said. Um, Hang on. Um, well, it's not an eco anymore. They've actually got themselves two guns. Uh, yeah. Guys, let's chill. It's a scout as well. Like that, is that, I was going to say, if that's a flash, this could be really problematic. It's... This is all. Oh, thank you. I will do nice. Abby, thank you. Thank you. Because they were they were in a real rough spot for a second there. This this won't be any problems now. It is just Zertion who would essentially win a Glock Eco with a picked up MP9. Oh, 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 oh. I was I could see myself eating my words there with that lineup. <laughs> that would have been nuts. But uh, still a very good job, you have to say, with the Glocks there. 
Not so clean for Heroic. So they give up a couple of kills there, but ultimately deny the plan once more. So it's not going to be all the bells and whistles for Mouse Sports in round number 18 here. MP9 for Yabby, M4s elsewhere. And uh, very, very important round. Has to be said. This was the scout off with the Gosh. car as well. Had to be gifted a couple. And oh, uh, uh, it's one of the easy one. That's towards Pip. Yabby removed. I dare say he's got two, but not quite. A trade. It was a four-man lean, so there's still three players on eight. This is dud info for Mouse. If they just run up now onto the site, there's still plenty of players to deal with this. Cadian's under pressure now. Stout here delivering. He's going to get traded out, but there's so much damage done to the, the incendiary is nice. here. This is going to divide. It's going to conquer. And Heroic are looking great for the first gun round now. Just this pace from Mouse. Stalled, stopped, stunted. Time to shrivel up. Well, at least they're back into this game now. This should be a round that's guaranteed to be theirs. I say uh, that. Look Shush, might not be aware. <gasps> <laughs> what do you reckon, Frozen uses black bars? Yeah, he's got the horse blinders on. I wonder, because it's curious if he could have seen him or not from that position. He was pretty much bang on his 90 degree. Damn. Well, Torshi with a bit of a throwback. You don't see many Kriegs these days. It's so rare, isn't it? The, the gun was nerfed into oblivion. Yeah, it does feel pretty awful these days, but uh, Kadian... Given the task to take him down, we'll see whether he can find it cleanly, and indeed he can. That's Torshi removed, and a very, very important round for Heroic to pick up there. He's having a good game, Henry. 18 kills for Caden. He's leading the charge here for yeah. his squad. Uh, Stown now starting to contribute a little bit more. You, you definitely want to see more from him, but everybody's very close on the scoreboard. Yabby, Shush, and Tessus all just around that 10 slash 11 kill mark. Well, Kadian did say to us outside, Dust 2's got to be spicy. And I think he's delivered on that front with the, the excitement of the missed smokes, the, the calamity sure. of some of the rounds, and the fact he's performing. It is building its way up into a spicy affair here with Heroic on the comeback. Not classical entertainment. No, certainly not. But uh, we're into to things not so normal as uh, Yabby. This should be his, you know, a little, little mowing down here with the MP9. It's a good spot. Feel the confidence up, you know. Have a nice clean one here. Farm some cash, keep everyone alive, and uh, you're right back in this game. That's for sure. Every... Not quite. Get him. Come on, Yabby. Get in there. Don't worry about your team, Nades. They're trying to steal your kills. This is... Oh, dear. This, this is yours. Every day of the week. As uh, Cadian trying to channel a bit of Kirby there. Cross, uh, all across the screen, but we'll get the frag. And starting to warm back into it here. The smiles are still on the faces of the heroic lads. You know, they're, yeah, they they're, they're, not just, they're not just starting and eating away in their own head. They're still believing. So the gun's back out here. Torji, AWP, and that could be the difference maker. Remember the opening picks he was starting to find for the team on that CT side, especially. We turn to the big man. Let's see what he can bring out. So four rounds in a row for heroic. And indeed, Torji will make his way towards the long doors. Can he make anything of it, though? This time flashed and... An opportunity of a kill there. Oh, this is brave. The smoke's a little bit deeper than you might anticipate. So, another opportunity. One he cannot convert, but Heroic, I dare say, they're, they're quite lucky to be alive. Well, this is a default spread from Mouse now, right? I understand that exchange that was taken early, but you can see here players towards the upper tunnels. They're working on back cat control. Heroic have started with these gamble starts in two consecutive gun rounds. Four towards long to make sure they can stall out any of the early pushes and then respond to the A plays. And now, as a unit, they have to get an extra member back across towards that B bomb site. It will, of course, be Shush to join Yabby. Those two are tasked with locking down B. And while all of this has been happening, Mao's are happy to bleed time off the clock. Look at all the util that they've held on to. We have three players with almost full sets. Another missed hinge smoke, but we have to expect that with this map coming into play, right? It's not at the top of these teams' playlist or pick list. Sure, I can agree with you to some extent, I suppose, as Cadian will find the opening kill. What a scalp it is to take as well. Exertion has been dropped. They've got the man advantage. And what's the final play here from Mouse Sports? It looks like they're committing towards B. Smoked out for now, but they have got four players on this side of the map. Up against them is Shush, holding by the car, and Yabby at the back of the bomb site. Now, Shush, he starts an incendiary chat. So I dare say, like, at this point, once they make their way in, it's going to be very difficult. With 20 seconds remaining, he can time this to perfection, which he already has. They can't find any sort of point of access here. Another HE to land on their front door, so that's going to do a ton of damage, and they'll start to be sprayed down here. Heroic should have this one in the palm of their hand. Frozen will fight back somewhat here, but still a four versus two. Make it zero. Three players survive for Heroic as they hunt for double digits now. 
Uh, I'm just making sure I get the correct movie reference here, Henry. So oh, we've got a reference a coming in. I, I have a point. I just want to make sure that I find the, the correct movies. Why has Tom Cruise done so many movies? What's the one where those the people, they like lay in the vat of liquid and they can predict the future? Oh, um... um it's like he's a cop, but he's like a, a, a mind Yeah, they can cop. predict crimes before they happen, right? God damn it, what is it called? And they've got like, the kind of touchscreen yeah. computers going on. Everybody. Minority Report. Minority oh, Report. I've just had a mi Minority Report quite clear that neither of us know what we're doing on the T side. <laughs> uh, so let's see if we can get out of here, shall we? Adrian, he'll open up bragging once again, continues this great run. He's found in the second half, 21 kills in total. JDC with the scouts. No answer back so far, and you might be right here. This is the clean sweep from Heroic so far. They've got themselves five rounds in a row. Zero for Mouse. Has the bomb even departed yet? No, it has not. Yeah. So when we start adding these things up, unless they have a bit of a fire starter here. Keddy blind. Oh, this is a chance. Have to convert that. Exertion will. Up. Another banger, another zinger. Needs to hit something as... Oh, sure, she's pushing into the den here. You can't be given over those. Okay, well, still advantage heroic, I would say, especially with that play from Stalin. He gets the bomb down. Incendiary on top of it as well. They might be able to recover it. Actually forces JDC through, but that's to his advantage. He has a smoke as well. Three on two now. A couple of rifle in towards their arsenal and Dexter patrolling middle. This is getting all sorts of ugly, but we'll see what Tess can do with it. Lovely work. They have... Yabby, Tessas, full HP against the two rifles now of Exertion and JDC. Smoke towards Tunnels. Well, that's an easy liner right there. I like yeah. the look at that one. Old school one. All right, well, Tunnels has at least been secured for now. They both have M4s, though, Henry. I have to feel that Mao's are going to get this one done. He's going to be potent as the smokes ah. are starting to fade. Heroic have got this, Chad. Come on. Creeping in, the jewel to be taken, Exertion. He's gonna take that first frag. Now JDC to activate Tessus has dealt with him. Is there gonna be time? Exertion coming up, okay. massive 23 kills, continuing to deliver here on Dust 2. And just as we thought we had seen the future, the moral implications of what we were saying come back to bite us, 12 to nine. And it all started with this frag right here. Exertion, find space towards middle. They catch the rotating CTs in a very awkward position. Comes down to the one-on-one. -on -one. If he gets the kill, Tessas, there was still enough time to defuse as well. But there it is, their first round on the T side. A sigh of relief. Some pressure removed. As they do have a full buy here. We'll see whether oh, or she... Oh, did he see him or what? Has he done that? What? what? Did he just shoot? I don't even know. Because the smoke plumed, and then Yabby's like, you know what, I'm jumping back. I, the timing on that must be insane. It's either he saw something, the maybe the very peak of his cap or something, I don't know. Cadian nice. with a chance. JDC loves pushing these gaps up, and it gets the reload. He he can the double kill as well. They'll maintain the man advantage, four versus three. They know exactly where Tess is, and they'll make light work of him. Mouse Sports done to come to life here now, Chad. It's the MP9 that comes out on top, but surely won't get the second. That has to be it. They know there's one defender left. All they have to do is send probes out. Where is Stout? Let's just locate this last defender and go to the other bomb site. And right yes. now, this is where the round started for him. CT spawn. They can allow the maneuver of exertion here across the map until they locate this member because there's a minute on the clock right now. Torji, Dexter, both with orbs. This is going to bunker down at long and, and hope that there's a push in either direction. And here it comes, the head-on collision, the fight. Exertion, can't get the kill. They know where Stown is now. And he might be able to get this one done. I think he might do, you know. He's got the HE grenade, which actually is looking pretty decent. The Molotov denies some sort of access, but I think he'll get it. That's a kill. That's a, that's a touchdown. That's a beautiful that perfect too. 30 seconds remain, so Torshi can get a nice clean plant down here. Going for the long plant, Chad. You like to see that, he can actually go down towards the pit position here. He's feeling brave. Timing's working in his favor. Stank diet. He doesn't know exactly where Stan is retaking from during all of this, so at some moment, Torshi's going to have to ask the question, is it short, is it CT, or is it long? Oh, he's dead. It's ah, over. He's the wrong way. Stan's... Oh, he's missed the shot. Stan had the chance right here. Torshi's going to drop into spawn. This is getting out of control. What? Remember, it's a site plant. It, it's a lot. There's no kid as well. He's going to be able to take this fight from CT towards long. Stan has to take the fight. He drops it. Torji denies. I, I can't really explain what just happened there. The fact he misses that freebie of a kill towards Shaw. He just bails out. He does a jump CT eyes. spawn and sacrifice the bomb side. The CT follows him, hits it. We've got to see that from his POV. Torji was aware that he could have dropped spawn because he planned it for long, right? So it's like, well, I can try and take this fight when he goes to the bomb, but that is mental. And it all opened up with that Yabby pick. This is the opening jewel. What does he see here? Oh, Enhance. yeah, definitely so. Just a smudge. A smudge on the screen. You can't be giving those over. Well, this half completely changes now. Heroic are looking very comfortable, but after conceding two rounds in a row, 
They're on the back foot. The Eagles, MP9, Scouts, and a couple of M4s. Cadian, no armor, and no kits to speak of. They can steal this round away, great, but if they lose it, Chad, I dare say that's map over. They won't be able to come back. You can see there's some real issues here because Heroic have to hedge on these guys walking into the stack. They're, they're hoping that Stown goes undetected. A normal default play comes through. He can maybe swoop. The fact that we've already found ourselves at the minute and 15 seconds mark and there hasn't been any traction across the map. No one has poked their head out. Nobody's taken a fight. Heroic are trying to get ahead of this. They're rotating multiple members over now. They're boosting up and towards the side, but there's a quickness to this. Two smokes on the cross. The util to follow here. Lots of mollies, lots of flashes available. The spam is through. Dexter, the madman, up on the ledge, takes the fight. Jumps oh. around behind them, and Dexter had two more on the plate. But Stounds bailed them out. He's seen a lot here, and the kills keep coming. The leap of faith from Dexter leads us to a three versus three, but not for long. Tess has his removed. Down to Stown now. Did you see the barrel? Not sure, Chad. He oh, definitely saw. The now, the barrel, the gun. Whoa, okay. Jeez. <laughs> this game has got it all. It's got the excitement his, his factor. His gun model must have been covering the body. Exactly. I think you're right, because that's kind of... Yeah, you're right. From his POV, his player model, the, the rifle, you mean? So, I, look, I just want to say I'm glad I'm wrong about the mi minority report prediction. P situation for Heroic. They will now need six rounds in a row to take us to overtime. It is an actual old-school B rush. Let's get it on. Let's see what can be made of this. Dexter looking to find some serious cash here towards middle. The triple kill is found. It's the MAC-10s doing all the work here. And there it is, series point for Mouse Sports. On Dust 2, where it looked like they might have been down and out, they managed to string together four in a row after conceding five. They have a firm lead here. As mentioned, Heroic will need six perfect rounds at this stage. And what we've seen from Dust 2 from both these sides so far suggests they won't be able to do that. A mistake will be made at some point, but let's see what they can make of that. Did Yanko predict Bows and everybody else it's, predicted uh, Heroic? He's loving it right now. Yeah, a bit of indication for Yanko here. Kassad's going to have some explaining to do. He might have to at this stage. Well, the, the stunner as well. I don't think we should let him off the hook. He also participates in the, uh, in the prediction game. Yeah, we don't get a look into that, do we? We don't no, get a look. and I like it that way. Probably for the best. <laughs> I think we've got uh, enough going on around here without that being thrown into the mix as well. As uh, we get into what could be the final round, ladies and gents, buckle up. Heroic just give up one of these, they are done for. First game of the group, and it has been a spicy affair to say the very least, and we've got Frozen. Looking to crack things open here towards A-Long. He's actually snuck out. I don't think they have any idea he's this close, but a good grenade in response. Tessess, does he have the advantage? He absolutely does. They've got the man down in the form of Frozen. A good clearing of the corners right there. That was graceful from Frozen. Yeah. It would get himself out like he's in a musical. There's... Uh... This is an opportunity now for Heroic to at least salvage this match. Remember, picked it. They wanted to catch Mouse off guard. Right now, the only ones off balance are the Danes. This is a very difficult site to take with this off angle from Shushir. He's posted up. He should be good for the first. And now he can allow his teammate to play next. The U tilt forces them back. It's down up close over the box. He should be good for a kill as well. I don't know how you're going to lose this one here. Torji, he's grabbed it back. He's been able to find way into the site. Dex is taking us down. Torch has grabbed another. What's happening this here? This is a three on five. Three on five. An absolute collapse from Heroic. Oh, no. If they're not anywhere near it as well. They're actually going to play and see these and a molly. Yeah, I think we might be done. They've got one smoke in the retake. They have got a diffuse kit, but Kadian just for the AWP. Here comes the smoke. If that goes comfortably towards window, they might not have a chance. There'll be no saving here, lads. You've got to go for it. It will take a showstopper from the CT side here. No utility to speak of, just have to hit their shots. Mouse Sports might have done it with the disadvantage here. Well, they're trying something, boosting over, clearing what they can. Oh, the final round, Torji again. Dexter with the final kill, 16 to nine.